The arts can change the world. Travel with me, artist John Dyer. Be inspired. Learn about plants, animals and people. Connect to tribal culture. Create Paint Exhibit Connect. So it's a bit cloudy today, which also means that the painting hasn't dried overnight, which is a bit annoying. Um, but we're hoping to still go out painting today and we're hoping that it will clear up so that we can charge some of our devices because at some point, if it doesn't get sunny again, we're going to have a real problem with battery. So these are the anato seeds that we had the red dye put on our faces when we went into the rainforest. And it turns out that they sell the anato seeds um, to a cosmetics company in America, which is another reason why they're able to sustain their weirdly modern lives here. So we've arrived in painting location number two and today we're surrounded by sacred plants which is really special. So uh, today there's a lot more uh, evidence of the traditional tribal Yawanawa culture. The artists are wearing their traditional headdresses. Uh, it's for two reasons. Partly we're in a very sacred area of the forest again with lots of special sacred plants. And secondly, they're really keen that you guys at home get to see their traditional culture. So they're just clearing the leaves and they look after the area as if it was a room, which is really interesting. I'm painting the background here and putting these beautiful leaves that are above me, but uh, I've just noticed that every single other person, including Ishiwaka, has suddenly evaporated. I didn't even see them. I didn't see them go. So we're deep in the rainforest and miles away from home and there's still plastic pollution and lots of it is caused by the tribe. I've just found a plastic bottle under my foot in the middle of the rainforest. So John, if you weren't an artist, what would you be? That's a great question. Um, I would be, something in the arts, I'd be a photographer or a designer, or I'd be designing robots and artificial intelligence, because I love that too. So we've had a new question in from Wilhelmina, and she asks, how did you get your canvases here? That's a great question, Wilhelmina. And hello from the rainforest. I get them here, obviously I can't put these in the case, so I unpin the canvas, I roll it up in a tube, and when I get here, I, I bring a piece of board, which is cut in two, which folds, and I bring one stretcher bar, and then I repin it with these pins every morning. So every day I'm re-stretching the camp. We love having your questions to answer, so please go to lastchancetopaint.com and submit your questions to us because we love finding out more about the Yawanawa people and the rainforest as we're here.
One of the great things about using Procreate in the rainforest in the, in the Amazon is it's really added to my working process so I can take quick sketches and drawings and build those into my large acrylic paintings. So working here in the forest, I'm looking at, at drawing and shapes and composition in the same way as painting. Uh, but the great job about this is it's absolutely instant and it doesn't take any time to dry. And I've also found that I can use it at night because it gets dark really early. So I can actually uh, sketch out new ideas, even in my hammock in, in you know, seven, eight o'clock, it's pitch black. And this is great for that. So John, do you see the world as colorfully as you paint it? Yeah, I do. I, what, I, what I paint is, is what I see and what I feel. And what I feel is very colourful, and then I wrap that around the shapes and the leaves and the forms in front of me. That's why the paintings look like this. And they're also informed by Nishiwaka's spiritual story. So we've just asked why the base of the palm trees in Brazil are painted white, and no one really seems to know, which is interesting. And so we're just guessing that it might be for road safety at night time, so that they light up so that people don't drive into them. So. I've got to a really good point on my painting where it's all established, the composition is there, the colours are there, but what's missing is light. And if you use a pale yellow colour paint, or it could be any colour, but a uniform colour, then you can catch where the light, where the sunshine would be. So this is what I'm doing now. So when I'm putting leaves on a painting, I use a very fine brush and I'm putting the sunshine on. But this is a leaf colour as well in this case. And I twist the brush and it can make it really interesting. Have a look. And by twisting the brush, it makes it thinner at the end. There is a dog in the rainforest. So while I'm painting in the rainforest and this is painting, Martha Lily is very patiently sat on this little stool, this little travel stool, writing blogs, answering your questions, and taking video and being a general superstar. So thank you, Martha Lily. <laughs> So I've just finished my painting, been painting all morning, and this painting is about the, the power of the snake that occupies the canopy, which is indicated here, and the power of the snake that lives on the ground and that the tribe work with in their ceremonies. So we've got the, the earth snake and the sky snake, and in the middle of uh, the tribe have been fishing, and these are fish and they've been casting lovely round nets. So it's a really wonderful scene of spirituality and actuality. The next are you finished or you're working on it? Looks yes, <laughs> finally. That looks incredible. Thank you. So thank you to Procreate for sponsoring Spirit of the Rainforest, which has been a huge success. And we've managed to be inspired by the Yawanawa people. And hopefully, well, I know we've also inspired them. And without Procreate, none of this would have happened. My paintings wouldn't have happened and my beautiful Procreate drawings wouldn't have happened too. And I hope you will also be inspired to take part in Spirit of the Rainforest by submitting your own Procreate drawings and traditional media paintings to our World Gallery.